In this example, we will demonstrate the use of custom functions in Game Guardian to automate memory editing tasks. Specifically, we will explore how to utilize the following functions effectively. Save list, used to save search results for future use. Load list, used to load previously saved values and edit them. Set values, used to modify the values in memory to a desired amount. This script provides a practical approach to searching for in-game gold, saving the results, and applying modifications with ease. Let's dive into the details. We start the script with a block of code defining a function called search and save gold, which is responsible for searching and saving gold values in memory. This function begins by creating a variable called value to search, which stores the user's input from a prompt. The prompt asks the user to enter the gold value they want to search for. It ensures the input is numeric by restricting the input type to numbers. If the user leaves the input blank or cancels it, the function displays an alert and exits. This setup ensures that only valid inputs proceed to the next steps of the script. The bracket notation 1 is used to access the first input from the prompt. Since we are asking for a single value, only one is needed. If more inputs are added, like silver or diamonds for example, additional brackets with 2 and 3 can be used to access the second or third values. This block starts by using search number to search for the value entered by the user in the game's memory. The search is performed in the D word format, which is a common data type for integers. Next, the results of this search are retrieved using get results, which fetches up to 100 matching memory addresses. The script then checks if the search was successful. If search results is empty or nil, an alert is displayed and the function exits using return. This ensures the script does not proceed with an invalid or empty result set. Our next block begins by defining a file path where the search results will be saved. Add list items function adds the search results to the game guardian list, preparing them for saving. Save list function saves the list of search results to the specified file path on the device. Finally, an alert is displayed confirming that the results were successfully saved. The message shows how many results were saved using the length operator to count the number of items. It also specifies the file path where the data was stored. The function then ends.
This block defines the load and apply gold list function, which begins by setting the file path where the saved list is stored. Load list function attempts to load the saved memory addresses from the specified file. If not, the function checks if the load operation failed. If the file does not exist or there are no saved values to load, the condition evaluates to true. If the file is missing or empty, an alert is displayed and the function exits with return. This ensures the function only continues if a valid saved list is successfully loaded. Now we have to retrieve the list of loaded memory items and validates its content. Get list items fetches the currently loaded list of memory items into the variable list. Checks if the length of the list is zero, meaning the list is empty or contains no valid data. If the list is empty, an alert is displayed and the function exits with return. This block ensures the script only proceeds if valid data is present in the loaded list. This block iterates through the loaded list of memory items and updates their values. A loop runs from the first item to the last item in the list, determined by the length operator. Updates the value of each memory item in the list to 999999. It ensures the data type for each memory item is set to D word, which represents a 4-byte integer. This loop modifies every item in the list to reflect the new, gold value, and data type. We finalize the process by applying and saving the updated values. Set values function writes the modified values back to the corresponding memory addresses in the game. Save list function saves the updated list back to the file, ensuring the changes are stored for future use. An alert confirming the operation. The length operator is used to show the total number of values updated. Finally, the function ends. The script concludes with the main menu function, which provides a user interface to choose between different actions. The choice function displays a menu with three options. 1. Search for gold and save results. 2. Load and edit saved gold values to 999999. 3. Exit the script. The user selects an option, and the selected choice is stored in the variable choice. The script then checks the value of choice using if statements to perform the corresponding action. 
This allows the user to interact with the script and choose the action they want to perform. This script is designed to automate the process of searching for and modifying values in memory. It can be particularly useful for users who want to quickly apply changes to in-game resources without manually scanning memory each time. It is most effective with static memory addresses, where the location of the values does not change between sessions or game restarts. This allows for predictable results each time the script is run. While the script can still be used for dynamic addresses, which change each time the game is run, it requires the memory search to be successful in locating the correct values. Dynamic addresses typically require the use of pointers or additional steps, which this script does not fully address by default. It is important to note that for dynamic addresses, the script may not always work as expected, as the memory locations can change. For these cases, more advanced techniques or additional memory scanning methods may be required to reliably apply changes. The file that is saved contains memory addresses and values found during the search. This includes information such as the memory address, data type, and other system-specific details related to the memory location where the gold values were found.